my friends, welcome to my rapid review of the Dose of Colors liquid lipsticks. We will give you a thorough review in five minutes or less. So I got the brand new Current Faves bundle of liquid lipsticks. They are $75 for the bundle. You get five of them, but it's $90 for full price if you bought them all individually. In the bundle, I got Chocolate Wasted, Brick, Los Angeles, which is spelled very interestingly, Truffle, and Supernatural. They do say on the website that you should exfoliate your lips before use and also avoiding oily or greasy foods which we're going to be talking about. The brand Dose of Colors is vegan, cruelty free, gluten free, paraben free, and they are made in the United States. They are an indie brand. There are a few ingredients in here that you might want to know about. The first one is cyclopentasiloxane. It's a three on Environmental Working Group. Its job is to be skin conditioning. It is silicone based. Environmental Working Group says that it is persistent or bioaccumulative in wildlife. So you may want to wipe off this lipstick rather than washing it down the sink. One interesting ingredient in this is denatured alcohol. Uh, it is something that can really dry your skin. I looked up a lot of liquid lipsticks all over from Sephora and Ulta and Indie brands and I could not find a single other formula that specifically said they use denatured alcohol. I'm assuming this is because it is such a drying ingredient, so I don't know why they chose to use this instead of a different type of alcohol. Phenoxyethanol is a preservative. There are some irritation concerns for that. There are also a couple of colorants that are not eye safe, so please do not use these as eyeliner. Let me preface my full review by saying I've never found a perfect liquid lipstick that goes on opaque, isn't drying, is completely transfer proof. I've never found one. I've heard that they exist. Uh, my acquaintance Stephanie Nicole uh, says that the Makeup Monsters ones are the best ones, but I have never tried those. These are no different. These are not perfect. I'll tell you the great things and then the shortcomings. So the good things about these is they are very transfer resistant. It takes a lot for them to come off of your lips. Oil is the enemy of these liquid lipsticks. If you want to take them off really quickly, really easily, just have some oil on them. So of course, while you're wearing them, you don't want to eat any oily foods. Another positive about these is that they're very comfortable. They don't feel excessively drying and they don't flake off of the lips. A negative is that they can tend to stay a little bit sticky. If you notice, my lips still kind of stick together a little bit, even after hours of wearing them. I will say though that they wear down relatively nicely. A lot of liquid lipsticks, I'll put a lip balm over it to help it to last a little bit longer. I find that that kind of makes this particular formula kind of mush around the lips, so I do not use a lip balm with these in order to make them last longer. The best way to get continued use out of them is just to simply reapply. Speaking of applying, you wanna make sure use a lip liner with these because they can bleed outside the lip line a little bit upon application and the darker colors are a little messier to use. But overall, I really, really loved using these liquid lipsticks. I feel like they're comfortable enough that I can wear them without really thinking about that I have liquid lipstick on my lips, which is a big deal for me. I'm big on comfort with my liquid lipstick and these definitely do well with that. These have a little bit of a sweet scent, but it's not a very strong scent. So if you're sensitive to scents, you may not be buying bothered by these, which is another positive. So overall, thumbs up on the Dose of Colors liquid lipsticks for me personally, but you definitely have to listen to the full review to make sure that they are good for you because what I like isn't necessarily what you like. So take into consideration all of the points of it to decide whether these would be good for you or not. So I wanna thank you so much for watching this rapid review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next rapid review. Mad love, bye.